Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to get custom cursors on any Mac. If you find this useful, please subscribe and smash that like button. Now let's get into the video. First, you're going to open up your browser, Chrome, Firefox, Brave, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to go to GitHub. The link to this is listed in the description. And here, you will download a program that allows you to make PNG images into cursors. You're going to click the first asset. This will begin a very short 4 megabyte download. And depending on what browser you're using, it may pop up in different parts of the screen. And once this download pops up, you're going to click on Mouse Cape. And once this download folder pops up, you're going to click on Mouse Cape. And after this error pops up, you're going to click on the Apple in the top left corner. Then you're going to click System Preferences. Then go to Security and Privacy. Make sure you're in general. And then here you're going to hit open anyway. Open. Now that you have successfully installed Mousecape, I'll now show you how to use it. Let's move on to our next site. This is Open Cursor Library. The link to this is also listed in the description. Just as an example, I am going to search for Minecraft cursors. This will usually pop up many different packs of cursors, so you're going to click one and then select one of these individual things as long as they are completely non-animated and simply a still image. Now that you're here, right click and then hit save image as. And then you can name it if you'd like and make sure that it's going into desktop. There you go. Now you have that. You can now close out of your browser. If you still have Mousecape open in the background, click it. Then go to the top bar and select file. You're then going to hit new cape. This should pop up. Another one. Well, it looks like we already had one, but oh well, that doesn't matter. You'll now want to right click it and hit edit. Ignore basically everything there and just click this plus button in the bottom left corner. Now click unknown. Now right next to type, you're going to click unknown and then select what type of cursor you would like to change. The most basic cursor that you normally see is called arrow, so for this video we'll use that. Now find your downloaded picture that you'd like to use as a cursor on your desktop and then drag into 1x. Where it says hotspot, you may need to change the coordinates until the red dot is sitting directly on the point or tip of your cursor. Most will fit 88, but if you need to change it, feel free to play around with it until it is in the right spot. Once you're done, close out of this window and press save. To get it, all you need to do is make sure it's selected, right click and click apply. There you go, now it's on there. You now have this as your cursor. If you'd like to get rid of it, simply press command and R at the same time. And if you'd like to delete one, again, you can just right click it and then click remove. I hope you guys found this useful. If so, please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified about my future videos. Have an amazing day. Bye!